Hello, Mission Hills Church. This is such a beautiful and meaningful week. It's Holy Week. And, and I trust that you've spent or will can, you know, plan on spending some particular personal time with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and thanking Him this week for all that He did 2,000 years ago so that you could be a son or daughter of God. So take some moments, some personal moments this week, and, and, and get close to your Savior and your Heavenly Father, and, and do so in gratitude. Um, he's done so much for us. And so this is Holy Week. We celebrate Holy Week as a church in a variety of ways, uh, most important of which would be Good Friday and then on Resurrection Sunday. So speaking of Good Friday, you can join us this Friday inside in our worship center anytime between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. It's sort of a uh, just a, a casual style thing. You come whenever you're ready. There'll be chairs there for you. You can sit, pray. There'll be some beautiful live music taking place as well as some readings from the final words of Jesus on the cross. And as that's going on, when you're ready, you then can take communion, which will be a self-serve, uh, COVID-safe style. But the point is, you come when you're ready, anytime between five and seven. Stay as briefly or as long as you would like, and you come and go when you're ready. So that will be uh, a very meaningful time, of course, uh, this Friday, 5 to 7, in the Worship Center, okay? So we'll see you then. I look forward to it. And then, of course, Resurrection Sunday. We're going to two services, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. So please, invite a friend. I invited some friends this afternoon. I hope they come. You should be doing the same. It'll be a beautiful morning, of course. We'll have some very special things happening. Not only will, be, will the parking lot be decorated differently than you've ever seen it up to this point. Um, by the way, the weather report is such that it'll actually be very comfortable. Um, there won't be any rain, that's good. And on the other end of the spectrum, uh, we're, we're told that it's not gonna be hot either. So it should be in the high 60s to 70 on Easter morning. So that's good news. I'll play weatherman just for a second for you. But anyways, what will be taking place when you arrive, we'll have for 30 minutes leading up to both services, um, the Bulgarian brothers, a trio of acoustic guitar players. They'll, that beautiful music will be what welcomes you to our property. We'll be meeting in the parking lot. Like I said, it's going to be decorated beautifully. Um, we'll also have, for your enjoyment, some on-site homemade donuts from that company that's done it in recent months for us. Everybody raves about the mini donuts. So those are free, as well as the coffee, of course. So that should get you all ready. Between the Bulgarian Brothers Coffee and Donuts, you should be ready to worship right at 9 o'clock or right at 11. We'll have some beautiful worship music for Easter and then a message that I trust will reach people's hearts, especially those who don't yet embrace Jesus. So that is Resurrection Sunday. I'm very much looking forward to being together and I encourage you to come out of your house and be on property. Hope you feel comfortable doing so, but I just encourage you to give that some real prayerful consideration to be here on site for one of those two services. Then, the following week, Sunday the 11th, we will be fully operational. By that, what I mean to say is from our newborns, right? From birth through our, our senior citizens, we will have all of our ministries for the weekend functioning. So I'm actually standing in our new nursery and you can see it's a beautiful, beautifully decorated place for our little ones. So moms and dads, if you got little kids, we're ready for them. And trust that this will be not only a fresh and, and uh, you know, well put together environment, but just a, a peaceful and a joyful place for the little ones. So the ministry to our infants, that begins on the 11th and we're not stopping. That'll continue every Sunday moving forward until Christ comes back. Okay, so this is our new nursery. You can see over my left-hand shoulder, between the pillars is actually all glass and it looks into the lobby of our church. Um, so it's a, just a great place for the kids. Over to my right, um, these windows uh, take you outside. There's actually a door in the hallway that goes outside, but that's our new playground for the little children, for the, um, what am I trying to say, early childhood. All right, so they'll have a playground out there. It's not fully uh, decorated and outfitted yet, but it will be by the 11th. So that's what I'm trying to say. Come the 11th, we are back as close to normal as we've ever been. We'll actually have the ability 
to, since we're now in the orange uh, with respect to COVID, um, we, can, we can put up to 50% capacity in our worship center. So we'll do two services again, starting Easter Sunday, 9 and 11, moving forward. We'll have always two services. So on the 11th, when you come, we'll have two services I just mentioned. Um, if, if you feel comfortable being in the worship center, that's where you'll find a chair and a seat for anybody that comes with you. If you feel more comfortable in an open air environment, we'll have also that option available for you in our lobby and out close to the wall that opens up to the patio. So we should have something, an environment here on campus that's comfortable for everybody, okay? So that's the 11th. Not only that, but I'll begin an eight week series on marriage and relationships. So that's a good series to kick off this new season back in our worship center and indoors on our campus. So we are wrapping up here. The, the green fencing will be completely down by tomorrow. So when you drop by or you drive into the parking lot during the week or on the weekend, it's gonna look entirely different. So we're getting there, we're getting there. The landscaping is starting and the final touches are beginning to be made. So I'm thrilled. I, I praise God for this church. That means for all of you, I praise God for the facility and I praise God for his son, Jesus Christ, who decided that he would step up as God, live a perfect life, which is simply his nature, and then sacrifice himself, which also is his nature, so that we can find life. Let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate it together. Come Friday between five and seven o'clock, and then come again Christmas. Did I say Christmas? Okay. When Christmas comes, I'll expect you to be here, but come Easter Sunday morning and uh, we'll be together to worship either 9 or 11 o'clock. I think I've said a mouthful. I love you so much and look forward to seeing you this weekend. God bless you.